Polytech. stuff in with the brush. You only care one run out of those brushes. <laughs> yeah, she pooched. Anyway, so all, all the tape is done, two coats, so you put a coat down, lay it down, put a coat over it, rub it through, pretty much the same idea as dope. So that's done, now this is where the thing, uh, the, your next step would normally be, of course, how to shrink it. Um, after I shrink it, I'm going to bond each one of those uh, foam ribs to the covering, but that's where everything changes. Um, you switch to the uh, Indra primer. I'll, uh, I got, of course, I bought a few of these knowing what was going to happen. I'll uh, just put primer down the top of each rib, and that's what actually sticks those ribs after the material shrunk to the uh, fabric, or vice versa, whatever. Apparently, it's a lot stronger than just using polytac. Because if I use the polytac, then I'd have to rib stitch each one of those. But uh, the way they do it in these planes, anyway, and only because it's been done that way already, I'll use the Enduro primer to glue it down, <clears throat> and then I'll put a couple of coats of primer over the whole thing and then I can spray it. Um, if I was recovering this airplane, I'd just use the poly system. And when it comes to those ribs, I would rib stitch them. And use, uh, the poly system is a lot lighter than this Endura stuff is. But that's what's on here, so that's what I'm using. Okay, I ended up having to do some bracing. I uh, put a 1 8 strip of wood marine ploy in the top here to give that lip some strength because it was just cracking and it was pretty lame, weak. I put these three, three quarter by three quarter pieces of wood in there just to give this a little bit of rigidity. Because when I started shrinking the fabric, it just pulled everything in, which is not good. And inside, I put foam bracing across as well. So that the uh, that fairing there, and all these three ribs, everything, is braced straight across. And butt it up here, here. So these two have you can kind of see the foam right through there and this has got a L bracket riveted in so that ain't moving I'm just gonna glue these down you can see that just set up from in here, down here now when I push on the fabric, you can see there's a bit of a bow left in it. There's nothing I can do about that. But when I push down on the fabric now, very little movement on those, which is good. Yeah. 
added a smidgen weight, but still nothing compared to the weight I took out of it. <laughs> and it's a lot stronger. <sighs> so, I just gotta glue these. So I had to cut the fabric off and peel it back so I could glue these in. So I'm just gonna get the poly tack, glue those down, tidy that up a bit, and start painting. Finally, I think. <laughs> I was supposed to paint yesterday, but that didn't happen. After I do one more shrink on that fabric. There, it's all primed up. And, uh, I let that set for a while. It's a very pretty job. And, uh, just want to get her done now. Next step, spray. The first one at the mask always off. Uh, set up the air kind of goes in the bottom funnels around and blows right out so you're getting a darn fresh paint job that's for sure um, got some dust in it dirt unfortunately that's what can you expect under these circumstances so it's just a patch and down the road I plan on recovering the whole airplane anyway using the sticks uh, system. So it's done. I just gonna let that bastard dry. That Endura, I'm using Endura paint, and it's actually made for airplanes. It's got a flex agent in it. Personally, I hate that system. Uh, the stuff's heavy, heavy as hell. That's just toxic as hell. Um, I, like I said, I should have been using a rest, uh, fresh air system, but. The respirator, I couldn't smell anything, so plus uh, everything is just going outside and it's completely covered. So it should be alright. And especially when you're just doing that spot in the top. Not the whole uh, uh it is. Not the way I like to do it, but the way I had to do it. Wanting this done for a long time. So now she's done. 